there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am going to talk about hormones and sleep today. This is a question I've gotten actually a lot recently in the past few days, and it's something that I talk about quite a bit in my, um, you know, I talk about sleep and everything in my new book, The Female Fat Solution, which you can find on Amazon. I do have a whole section dedicated to sleep because it is really, really important for your energy, for your health overall, to replenish your body. But a lot of times women are like, uh, uh, why? But why all of a sudden am I having a hard time sleeping? Or this changes for me, like this makes me crazy that I can't sleep. <laughs> Absolutely. I totally get it. So I'm going to go through why that happens and then some little things that you can do to really help your body process things better so you can rest better. And then a few of my favorite ways to make sure that I'm getting good sleep. Because sleep is important. And when you have children, you get less of the sleep. A lot less of the sleep. <laughs> so if you found this helpful, if you would click the share button, I would super appreciate it. So many women are having trouble sleeping and they don't know what to do about it. Um, and then I do have a free seven day slim down you can get with a lot of information and also a 12 week program. Again, click the link there. I've got tons of information for you guys available. Just go and find it out. On to the sleep information now. <laughs> so. When we talk about sleep and talk about our bodies and hormones, a few things that I think women are kind of missing the gap on in information is how this all works and why this is important. So this is, you know, the cycle for women. Day one is the first day of your period. Day 14 is about when you would ovulate. Day 28 is when it ends and happens all over again. Now, as your hormones shift and change throughout your life, throughout your, um, you know, age, will say, um, this may shift and change. Your, your hormones can change from pregnancy, from stress, from lack of sleep for any reason, change in exercise, change in nutrition, change, a lot of things can affect your hormones, right? Now, when we talk about the, I'm, so I'm just going to cover like the general, how it usually is average, right? You may be different. If you have questions on this, please don't hesitate. Comment below or message me if you're not comfortable commenting. I'm more than happy to chat with you about some of these things just to make sure you can utilize, oh, this is what's going on for me. All right, I'll just tweak this or that like this so I'll get the best result for me because every body is different, right? You may have been through different things in your life that are affecting your hormones now and your body's not responding like somebody else's would. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we talk about hormones and how it's affected with sleep. Normally, the first couple of weeks here, your body's a lot higher in estrogen, right? Estrogen is the dominant hormone, and I I talk a lot about things estrogen does in the body, of increasing your metabolism, it gives you more energy, it, it, it helps with recovery time from workouts, it's going to help with your flexibility, it's going to burn carbs naturally, yay! Those are, you know, all wonderful things. Now, in the second couple of weeks here, your body's project, and again, these are just like averages. I'm not an artist by any means, but you know, you get the concept by looking at this. Your body's a lot higher in progesterone. Progesterone does very different things than estrogen. It's actually going to do things like slow down your digestive system. It's actually going to feel like it kind of sucks the energy out of you. It's going to um, make it a little tougher to recover and just, you know, slow your energy down overall, but it burns fat naturally. So with that in mind, think about as you're going through the month, okay, hmm, my body's higher in estrogen here and then it's higher in progesterone and these different things are going on. But what happens for a lot of women is that when they're in different phases of their cycle, they notice, oh my gosh, my sleep is different. Or when you're pregnant, your sleep is really disrupted. I was one, so I have three kids. And towards the last trimester of each of my pregnancies, I had horrible insomnia. Like, I would just be awake. Here I am. I'm awake. It's the middle of the night. This is great because I'm pregnant and I have to do things all day tomorrow. And I'm going to be tired because I'm pregnant, but I'm awake now. Hmm. Great. Great. Perimenopause, menopause, all these things. You're going through all these sleep changes. And a lot of times it's hormone related. And, and gals know this, right? You're like, uh, you know, if you're like, oh yeah, I just stayed up too late watching Netflix or whatever, or, <laughs> you know, something happened and you're like, yeah, I was just up way too late or I didn't sleep good. You're tired. But if you're like, I'm doing all the things to get the good sleep, yet the sleep is not happening for me, what's going on? And it's hormone related. You usually kind of have a good sense of that, right? Well, why it's happening is that when your body shifts here from hormone to hormone being dominant, the rest of your body system is in, is in charge and um, is supposed to be filtering that out. 
right? So estrogen and progesterone are produced primarily by your reproduct reproductive organs, like your ovaries, but it's also produced by other tissues a little bit, right? Your adrenals, nervous cell tissues, you know, fat cells, stuff like that. But it's, you know, you're, with this present, your liver should be detox, I, I'm going to use the word detox here, but it should be filtering out these hormones, right? So when you have a shift in hormone and all of a sudden, you know, it's going to happen at this point or at this point that that shift happens. And all of a sudden for some women, they feel like pff, they get hit by a truck. And that's when they have all these problems happen. And it's because the rest of their internal organs are not happy with this change. And they're having a hard time filtering through that amount of hormone and changing gears. And and it's a lot to do, it's a lot for your hormones to do, but if your liver's not processing these hormones through properly, it's gonna have a hard time shifting into a different phase, and it's gonna cause problems and then cause insomnia. One of the number one things is that shift in estrogen, a drop in estrogen causes, you know, I don't wanna say causes, but it can be linked to insomnia or trouble sleeping because of the change it has in your, in your system in your body. And that's one of the really, really common things that women experience. So, so kind of have that in mind is that, okay, it's not you, right? You're not like, oh my God, I'm going crazy. You know, no, you're not crazy. Your hormones shift and change. So really knowing your body and knowing where you're at is, an imp is important. And then when that change happens, being able to really support your organs and your liver differently with nutrition, with supplements if you need. You know, I have a lot of great resources for that if, you're one, if you need something. But really, overall, doing that will ease that transition and will help you sleep better. And it won't have this damaging effect in terms of getting a lot of insomnia, that type of a thing. So that's why that happens for women. And, it, and it's just, it's one of those great things that you get to deal with being a girl. Yay! Now, one, a few of my favorite things, and these are some great tips and tricks just to hold on to for sleep overall, is, uh, you know, not having a great bedtime routine, your body functions off of routine, and kind of going to bed around the same time every night, winding down, having some tea. Um, there's also uh, reading is really great, nighttime activity, not having screens you know, or not having any screens on or near you within 30 minutes of going to bed. That's really, really important because there's certain um, activity that happens with your eyes. So you need to really get your eyes and your brain and everything to kind of calm down and wind down so you sleep well. Um, there's a lot of times having just straight protein before you go to bed. That's going to help you go to sleep and fall asleep and stay asleep better. And then sometimes people want to know about, um, okay, well, supplements. What do I take? What do I have? I need some help. I need help here sleeping. Okay. Well, some great things to add in would be um, chamomile is very relaxing, melatonin, valerian, L-theanine. And one of my favorite sleep supplements it actually has a combination of all of them. Power-packed help you fall asleep and stay asleep. So that's one of those things that it's it's helpful when you understand why it's happening or if you can track this, if you're like, ooh, I know when this shifts for me, boom, I have some trouble. You can anticipate it and shift your nighttime routine a little bit and be proactive in terms of getting better sleep versus reactive and trying to like catch up to it. Oh no, I'm not sleeping now. Now I feel like crap. Oh. Yep, okay, know that, oh my gosh, on day 13, 14, and 15, I usually don't get great sleep. Shift that for yourself. Really focus on that and say, okay, I'm gonna have this be my extra nighttime routine. I'm gonna really relax. I'm gonna take a hot bath that night, and I'm gonna read, and I'm gonna get a, you know some extra chamomile or something to try and sleep better. And you'll find some great routine habits to put in to help you get to sleep and stay asleep. Sleep is really important for the body, and it's one of those things that I think doesn't get enough attention. Um, because it's not, it's not like a fancy thing, right? <laughs> it's not super fancy. It's not as fun as talking about like, let's talk about eating all the protein. But sleep is so, so important. Really, it is. It's while you're sleeping, your body's job is to rest and repair. Um, and it's, it's regenerating everything that got broken down that day. So if you're not resting and sleeping well, you are definitely not regenerating and it's going to be harder for your body to get to better levels of health the next day. So sleep is essential. Sleep is important. And really understanding where you're having problems and focusing on that can help you get better sleep long term, especially when it's hormone related. So 
Hopefully that's really helpful information for you guys. If, again, if you have questions, don't hesitate. Comment below the video. Message me privately if you're not comfortable commenting. I answer questions like this all the time for women. Um, but just a few of my favorite things and get that great sleep routine down and you will sleep a heck of a lot better. All right, everybody have a great rest of your day.